today has it all. A new home. Honestly, this base location is insane. The most unique looking base you've ever seen here as well. Yeah. A new tame. Yes. Dino. Dino. And new ways to break the game. <laughs> Troops, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for all the love and the support on these videos these past couple of months. You guys are absolutely incredible, and it's a treat to make these videos for you. Today's story is one filled with a hell of a lot of progression. We've got some home renovations and a couple of new teams. The one at the end of the video, I think you're going to be very happy with. Oh, the shivers. New game, new new session shivers. You ever get that when you're in a game and you've got a bit of time ahead of you? I'm sat down um, and I'm, I've genuinely been, not been this excited to play Ark in a while. I've been through the ringer a little bit, but I genuinely sat down here with an enthusiasm and an excitement to explore and play the game. And I'm really hoping that that doesn't go away. What we're doing now right is, right now is a little bit arduous, a little bit boring. I brought over the cryo fridge, the power generator and the cryopods. And we're going to take some more dinos over. Um, we're also going to start to bring... Um, most of our resources and stuff over with us which is going to be a very long very boring process it takes about five minutes i think more or less maybe a little bit less just to fly from uh the new actually i actually don't need to put a marker but from our new home to this home so uh strap yourselves in this could get a little bit boring well i'm not going to show it to you if it's boring but it's going to get boring for me but first things first let's slap the power generator down and the cryo fridge down okay we were, of course, in the process of moving house from the beaches of the west coast to the shade of the redwood forest. We had already built the infrastructure of the new house and had taken some dinos over and now began the very long and boring task of getting everything else over to the new home. Whilst I was preparing to make some trips, I did something rather dangerous and came up with an idea. I've got an idea. I have an idea let me make some bowlers and why don't we yeah why don't we get some more rgs because then i'll be able to fill them up right with all of my stuff and if we can get a few of them that are high level they can then come on over um uh, oh god do i where's all my shit uh and then we can like have them all following uh frodo and we can all just be one big happy family do, do I have any resources here? What am I looking for? I should stop talking with them. A clever idea, I thought, as this would speed things up for us greatly. So we hopped atop of Frodo, crafted a new spyglass, and took off into the skies in search for a friend for Frodo. Let's have a look here, shall we? What are we saying? Is that a... That's just white, that, isn't it? Here we go. 35, absolutely not. Peasant. Peasant. I don't think I'm interested in anything that isn't 135 and above. To be really, really frank with you. It's so difficult to feckin' see anything on this RG when you're trying to zoom in and the wing's in the way. Where's it gone? There. Oh my god. I'm going to lose my shit. Right, dive down. There we go. Right, now get it out. 33. 31. What is this? 33. I don't need no peasantry 33. I need 133. <sighs> oh, you'll do nicely. You'll do nicely. Right, I need to get you on the ground somehow. Right, we need to piss it off. Fly too close to it. Oh, hello. Oh, oh no. Fight me, fight me. Fight. I can't see. Oh, no. Fight me, fight. Where did it go? Mm. Oh. Where did it go? 
Did I lose it? Is that it? Or is that the 33? That's a 31. That's a new one. Did it die? No. Surely not. Now I'm cold. I was cold. I was naked. Were you there? Were you there? I was cold. I was naked. Were you there? And the trees and the color and the... You had to be there. 90s kids growing up in the UK would have sung the shit out of that song. You know, in school when they had the... Um, there was like projectors, which was like a big box. Is that it? No, I think that's the 31, isn't it? Yeah, fuck that. They had the... the it's, it's like a big box projector. And it had like the little stand and the light. And it used to put those like transparent lyric sheets. Which was like literally a transparent piece of plastic with the names. And it like cast the shadow onto the wall. And they used to put like the hymn lyrics and that on it. I was cold. I was naked. I'll take a hundred. Honestly, I'll take a hundred. Yoo-hoo. Oh, fight me. Oh, fight me. Oh no, don't chase me. Don't. It doesn't bowler. Frodo, passive. You're going to have to take some hits from me here, dude. He's fine. He's strong. Don't go that far, Frodo. Come down to me. That's it. Come down to me. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, you've battered him. You have battered him. Oh, no. They're going to get him. <laughs> They're going to get him. Maybe need to help out. Nah, he's going to die. Yeah, he's dead. Fuck you, birds. That was my one. This is like dog fighting. Oh god, you guys are high level. Nice. Well, that's still slightly annoying. And here it is again. The number one rule in Ark. You never find a dino that you are looking for. And if you do, it's either shit or it ends up dead. This, it, again, th this goes to... It's this constant battle in my head when it comes to Ark, right? So right now, <coughs> I'm wasting time doing something that is supposed to save me time. So I'm trying to get more Argies at a higher level that have... There we go. That have a higher weight capacity so that I can then... Um, is that a T-Rex underneath it? So that I can get all of my stuff to my base quicker. But instead of doing the thing that I'm trying to do. Right, I'm going to have to get you to chase me. Right, there we go. Come with me. Come with me. We don't actually want to lead it, like, up there. Because there's a lot of raptors and shit, so. A bronc. Maybe just set it down here. Right, there we go. I've attacked it. Right, down here will do, I think. Oh, fuck off. Here it is. Yeah, attack me. That's it. You don't. You won't do shit. You won't do shit. You and whose army? Did I miss? I'm fine. I'm not actually that fine when I look at my health. I'm really not. Come on. Go to sleep. There we go. He's running away now. No, he's not. Fantastic. That'll do. That'll do. Boots on the ground. Taming. Taming 100. Do we have any prime meat? I need to... Oh, there's another one there. Look, imagine that's high level as well. Oh. 
sweet Jesus. Okay, you are going to hurt. Shit. Get the torpor down. We've got three darts left. Come on. Two of these would be absolutely sensational. No, 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 no. Don't go. Don't go. Got to hit this. Got to hit this. Fuck. Right. Stay there. Stay there. Frodo, we got to go. Come on. We got to chase it. Go. 145. Five off max level. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, no, don't go over the swamp. I wish I could shoot on top of this thing. There's a fucking barry there. I can't knock you out here. Where are you going, bitch? Where are you going? Anticipate. Fuck. He's done a Yui. He's done a Yui. Where are you going? Don't go down there. There's a barry. Yeah, fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Come on. I reckon I was at one dart away. Literally one dart array away. I hope that RG is uh, okay over there. All right, he is tamed. It's taking a very long time, though. Come on. What are you doing? That's it. Go this way. Go this way. He's down, he's down, he's down, right. Frodo, where'd you go? Don't let that Barry get to him. Don't let that Barry get to him. Come on. Come on. Is he gonna drown? I don't think there's a Where the hell did it go? Where the hell did it go? There it is. I don't think there's a drowning mechanic in this. Fish? I hope not. Can I drag it? Fuck. Shit. Where's my machete? Right, Frodo, I need you here. You go and settle there. Right, that RG is slowly but surely getting tamed. Right, I'm going to use this as an opportunity as well um, to figure out what is best to tame the RNG. I figured every time I get one, it's going to make sense. What is best to tame Arjun Tavis? Superior kibble, raw mutton, raw prime meat, raw prime fish meat. So we need prime meat, and that might speed things up a little bit. So, <coughs> is that Barry? I'm hungry. Is that Barry prime meat? What classifies as prime meat? Right. First of all, what level are we talking? 25. Let's get it. Don't go too close to the water, though, because I jump off then automatically. Chase me. Chase me. There we go. I'm intelligent and I'm good at the game. There's no other word for it. I, you, you don't get prime meat. You you don't get prime meat. My bad. All right. Next. We had two high-level RG bargies slowly but surely taming. Now, you might be sat there thinking, why on earth are you not protecting them? And you would be spot on with that observation, but I was too busy right now trying to get my hands on some prime meat. Uh, here, there's always raptors around here. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, look, some over there. I'm not messing. We're going to get some of, some of those as well. I want some absolute freaky ones. Don't worry, troops. I'll help out. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yes. A, oh, no. That, <laughs> that's a dodo. Where's the raptor gone? Where? <laughs> where's the raptor? What? It was that. Did it die? Did you guys kill it? Is its corpse there? I could just get the prime meat. I don't. Maybe eight. Maybe eight. God damn it. The one, exact, the one time that I want raptors. Can't find them. 
Maybe there's like a low level Kano or something down here, maybe? I don't know. 120 Rex. Should I fuck with that just for shits and gigs? For the cause! For the cause! Yes! Yes! Die! It's alright, Bronte. I've got it. I've got it, son. Don't you worry about a thing. Shit, fucking raptors. I didn't need one now. Oh, I think I just hit the Bronte a bit. Oh, it fully healed. I killed the Bronte and the Rex fully healed. God damn it. Where'd that... My stamina. Where'd that raptor go? Hold up. Arjun. Wait, did we... Did we tame the other one? Did the other one die? Oh no. I think the 145 died. Come on. Shite back. Just die. Surely. There we go. In the hustle and the bustle of battling with the T-Rex and looking for some prime meat, the level 145 RG had died. We confirmed this by heading over and discovering its corpse floating in the water. Not to worry too much though, because we still had the 135 level RG currently taming. Oh well, right, let's just focus then on getting this other one. We can start breeding some more um, once we get this one. Where did it go? Uh, I did. Where did it go? No, no! Did this Carno get it? Oh, you absolute! Oh, that's so annoying. That is so annoying. Yeah. I went from two, potentially having two, to having none. I should have stayed put. I should have stayed put. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Things take an age in Ark. An absolute age. Overall, I had spent about an hour trying to get those RGs, and rather than focusing on just one at a time, I had tried to tame both, and ultimately ended up with zero. Now, after another extensive time searching the skies, you'll be pleased to know that we did end up managing to tame one. This time, when we knocked one down, we stood guard like a sentinel to ensure that nothing would happen to it. Oh my god, we can... We can make the saddle right now for it as well. Look at this! Oh! Argent have a saddle. I'd love an ascendant RG saddle. What have you got? Ah, just a basic one. I don't know what the costumes is. I'm presuming that's like special events. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh no 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 no. I want to. I want to name you. Hello. Settle, please. Look at that. A 208. And male and female. You know what that means. But I do want to. Obviously. Sam. Frodo and Sam. And actually, uh, if you can stop flapping about, I can give you that saddle. Brilliant. Right. Home. Home. I honestly can't be asked going through another ordeal of dealing with that. So let's uh, let's go back with this one. Why are you not? Oh, that's why. Follow me. There you go. There you go. 
Up and over the trees. Yes! Why didn't I think to get this done sooner? Oh, I get like a bunch of RGs, which are like insane melees. And just have them like following you around. Yes! Dino! 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 This really is Lord of the Ringsy. Ooh, that's a purple. But no, no, focus. I have all the time in the world to do supply drop runs, but right now it's just about getting everything over to the new home and then making sure it's defensible. I don't want to leave any dinos dying anywhere. Down we go. We're going down, down, baby. You've been in the ring. You've been me, my baby. Come, give me, let me let it go. Shimmer, 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 ball. Listen to me now. Light it up and take a ball. I'm doing now. We're going down, down, baby. You've been in the ring. 700 is pretty good for that as well. Now began phase two of the moving process as we captured the second wave of dinos into our cryopod. This included any remaining big boys that we would use for breathing, but also those sentimentally big, like Hedwig and Derek. Honestly, see these Rexes? I just feel that there's not much point taking them because we have like high level, mm, yeah, high level ones that we, I know, forget, 177, I'll take you. But we'll leave, we'll leave the others here. The Sarkos, I feel, are just a bit shit sometimes. They just didn't, they never, they don't really attack anything. But they're, I guess we'll have them, so. Put that there. Right, Derek, just because for sheer nostalgia, he's coming. He is coming. And then, of course, right now, our most valuable asset, Hedwig. Don't want to lose those silica pills. Hedwig. Get that health up. You are our most treasured. Our first big dino that hasn't not Pokemon died. And so we filled the pockets of Frodo and Sam with our podded pets and a bunch of resources. I wasn't going to take all the infrastructure from the base, but I was going to take most of the resources. Given the sheer amount of random stuff that we had, it was going to take multiple trips and would likely take a very long time. But at least it was quicker now that we have two RGs. Alright, so I think that's pretty much all we can take just now. And then we can come back for more. Yeah, we'll come back for more. It's gonna it's gonna take us a while, but let's do it, right? You. Alright, there we go. And so there we were, heading off into the skies with our first. Hey. And so, there we were, heading off into the skies, with the first of our luggage safely carried- <clears throat> Fucking hell. And so there we were, heading off into the skies, with the first of our luggage safely carried by Frodo and Sam. The journey to and from the beach base to the burrow, our new home, probably wasn't that long, but honestly, it felt like an age. And it wasn't very stimulating. It was peaceful and everything, but there was no action. Sometimes, you gotta make your own stimulus. We're going down, down, baby. Open in the rain, do it. We're going down, down, baby. Open in the rain, do it. Street to baby. Yup, but I let it go. We're going down, down, baby. Don't be the middle end of a baby, baby, baby. Go, Jimmy, 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 Bird, listen to me now. Excuse me, I think you're fine. That this is fucking mine. Don't stand a chance, bruv. You don't stand a chance. I like the healing thing. What we saying? Ooh, we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll also take that. I'm not sure I can fly with Frodo now, though. We a bit heavy. Just. Just. But we're nearly home. So let's get nice and high. <laughs> For, look at that. 371. 371 um, metal. Get high so we get away from the flying, crouching tiger hidden thylers. Oh, there's a red one over there. Oh, no, that, is that the obelisk? I think that's the obelisk. Oh, it's all very yellow, isn't it? And it was all yellow. I nearly accidentally fat-fingered 
dismount then. Oh, oh my god, it, it feels so good to be not in a cave, not in the swamps, getting battered by an Apache lobster. I just feel like things, yeah, just things are going well. I mean, the thing is though, like theoretically, like if you look at it black and white, we're not making any progression in terms of the game, but I feel like we're laying foundations and progression is going up and up and up. Laying foundations is, is just drawing a line so that when you fail, you don't go back below that line. I just made that up then, by the way. That was quite good, that, isn't it? That's quite good. That genuinely is quite a good description of what foundations are. So, here we go. Nearly home. Nearly home. I want this all to be mine. I don't want anyone else to be here. The thing is, though, that's taken over 10 minutes. 15, maybe? 10? Oh, I've lost track of time. Feels like 20. But it's taken a long while to get from base to base. This is going to take quite a while to transfer everything, but needs must. <laughs> the first leg had been done, and now it was time to start unpacking. Right, and all I need to do now is grab everything. I'm actually going to grab these first. So underneath, we can start putting the first things down, which for us... You can stop following me now, by the way. Uh, which is going to be the power generator. And um, the cryo thing. So, where do I want this to be? Great big vicinity here. I'm thinking... If it's back... Uh, or do I want it? I probably want more space in the middle, don't I? So, there. Nice. That goes there. Turn that on. And then my cryo fridge. I suppose that could just go there, couldn't it? That's not flush against that. But we don't care. We do not care. Right, and then Frodo is holding all of my dinosaurs. So I think they might... Oh, I had one spare. Oh, no. Oh, well. I think they might be get sickness from this. But what do we got? Derek, I choose you. Oh. Never mind, I'm going to wait 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Twat. Right, while we're doing that, <coughs> let's <coughs> offload some of the stuff. Oh, I built, I built that one a bit silly. Beautiful. There we go. Look at that. All my ducks in a row. <coughs> Whoa. Do you hear that? That was a coughing and a sneezing at the exact same time. This cold isn't shifting, but I've just had like a lingering... I w like, it's, I, it's, I don't think it's a chest infection anymore. It's just like a really horrible cold. Sympathy sub time. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. That's much better. If you haven't dropped a sub yet and you're watching this video, do me a favor and smash that button to help me to be able to bring even more videos to you. Anyway, we carried on unpacking from Frodo and Sam, and next up was the smithy. I think it makes sense to have it kind of next to the forge. Because, like, we use the metal and that, isn't it? And we put it in. Now, somewhere... Somewhere there is a fabricator. Somewhere. Where is it? What have I done with it? Ah, here we go. So this is like a big boy fabricator. That's going to get its own corner, I think. Maybe it's <coughs> maybe it's on flat bit. Like there. There we go. So that gets all of that. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Right. Am I allowed to play the game now? I am allowed to play the game. Thank you so much for allowing me to play the game. Nice, and they're not getting cryo sickness because it's been a minute. I've got some advice for you. See if you're building a base, and you're going to be doing a lot of going back and forth between the dinos and the base. Whatever you do, don't put an unconscious Bronto right at the front door. It's less than ideal. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot Bertha was a thing. Oh, I really wish I put that one further away. You are going to be down for a long time, I'd imagine. I can tell you right now that Bertha won't be up 
until next episode. She was sleeping. We unloaded the rest of the stuff, but this probably wasn't even half of what we were going to need to bring over. The initial excitement of moving home was starting to wear off a bit, and it got me thinking. You know when you have an idea, and the idea is really, really exciting, <coughs> and then the initial implementation of that idea is also really exciting, and then, and then, and then you do the idea, and it's not so exciting. Yeah, I have two bunk beds, and I know it's only me, but I'm going to pretend that I've got friends. There we go. Uh, we should now. I'll take that one. Uh, we call in. What are we going to call this? It's not a sleeping bag, is it? I had the bunk bed. I can rename it the burrow. <coughs> there we go. I probably should have done that sooner. <laughs> All I'm doing now is just transporting, transporting everything from anywhere, and it's really not that fun, if I'm being really honest. But needs must. Needs must. This channel has grown exponentially in the past nine months. It's turned my life on its head and has been an absolute roller coaster. There are so many positives to this situation, a list that is longer than my arm. But there are downsides. And for me, number one on that downsides list is that it is so difficult, impossible even, to reply to every comment on a video. I used to make sure I tried to reply to every single one on every single video because truthfully, every comment deserves that. At the end of the day, you are giving me the most valuable commodity that we have in life, time. But while I cannot reply to as many comments as I would like, I do make sure to read as many as I can. And you guys in the comments could let me know about a bookcase. Oh, so read in... comments that look at that <coughs> a bookshelf apparently this holds blueprints and a lot of them so that's where we're gonna put all of our blueprints from now just trying to keep the um, I won't lie to you I'm very bored right now of this so I'm just gonna try and clear these just kind of dump them anywhere and then, then we'll worry about sorting them another time because I'm genuinely losing my mind. Um, right, what I do want is I'm going to make one specific to saddles. I want one that's like saddles, one that's blueprints, one that's stuff that I wear. So I just need fiber and wood. I think there's vaults in the game as well, you guys were saying. I think it's like quite advanced though. And they hold like an insane amount. That's what I'd like because it could... Oh, bet your recipes are on the bookshelf. <laughs> it is a bit of a pain in the ass. Having to um, do all of this, to be fair. I feel like playing the game solo is, is really grindy. <coughs> and that's not to say that it's um, not grindy on multiplayer. But of course, if you had a tribe, then... You can, uh, you can, yes, look at that. You can distribute different workloads. So one person will be like a harvest gatherer for a particular type of resource. Another one would be another one. And you know what I mean? So, but alas, there's, there is just me. Uh, I've got, I got to do my flingy thing here. Hold up. Okay. We are going to skip forward a little bit. Jump ahead in time. I can assure you, you're not missing too much. There were a few more trips back and forth to the beach base and back to the burrow. We emptied the saddles of our feathered friends and placed them in storage boxes that we put up in what would hopefully be useful places. The bottom floor of the burrow was our industrial area. The second floor contained all of our clothes, tools and armor, and the top floor simply at the moment had a couple of bunk beds and a fireplace. We would be able to pad this out the more time that we spent here, but for now, we find ourselves back at the beach base, collecting the very last of the resources and getting ready to say goodbye. Is that everything? I think that's everything. We're going to leave some stuff. Um, 
I know that some of these are gonna die because they'll starve and shit, but honestly, like, that's sad. But it's also life, you know? We'll keep our throne down there. I got the rafts. I don't want to dismantle. Oh, I'll take the torches, actually. We'll need them. I don't want to dismantle anything. I don't have the same feeling of... Of... S sadness from leaving this as I did Castle de Dino. I don't have the same sense of, like, we're making a huge leap moving forward sort of thing. I think we just... Yeah. What we're doing is right, and I know it's right, and we're going to a better place. We get the light shafts back, baby. We get the light shafts back. Oh. Beach base, whatever we call you. It has been a pleasure. It has been a pleasure. You, honestly, we were fighting for our lives trying to design a base here. It did look pretty shit. I think there's eight-year-olds that can do it better. But we've spent most of the game here now. Most of the game. So it is time to move on to greener, more light shaftier pastures. Dinos, don't die too quick. I'll try and pop in and feed you all if I remember it. <sighs> Every chapter comes to an end every movie has its end credits every slice of large texas barbecue stuffed crust domino's pizza with no peppers extra trees dripping in garlic and herb dip has its last bite it was time to leave the beach base behind leave the memories behind and start afresh at our new home in the red wood forest Right, that uh, moved. That was uh, horrendous. That wasn't fun in the slightest at all. But we're more or less moved in. Ish. We've got a lot of finishing touches to do, troops. A lot of finishing touches. But right now, what I'm doing here is marking out. You know, like they have them lights on airports when the plane's coming in and uh, it guides them in that's what I'm doing with where's my wood Bronto uh, that's what I'm doing with all of this so what I'm gonna do is test this thing out I can't do any more inventory management I'm losing my fucking mind I'm gonna go and see if we can get ourselves piss off lad Children. Power. Turn these on. <laughs> what level are you? Forty. Nah. Nah. Look at that, so I can be like nowhere to drop them. Right, here's my thought process. Actually, it won't be too bad if we get attacked by a whatchamacallit. Maybe it would be, actually. <laughs> by a, uh, a Thyla. I'm going to get me gun here. Like that. And then not do the bowlers work on it. Um, rather than me going sneaking about, right? Trying to find one. Why don't I just fly through? One will find me. If, it, um, if it's low level, we kill it. If it's high level, we capture it. Simple. It actually turned out to be not too far from the truth, because not even 100 yards from the base, we discovered something. Oh, there's Monkey Man. I forgot we tamed him. Oh, we tried to tame him. Listen, another time. Oh, there's a purple one. A purple spot. Well, a, a supply drop spawn right next to my base. Oh, thank you very much. That's much better. Right. Oh, it feels good to not be flying the same path over and over and over and over and over and over again. We'll take that. 
We'll take that. We'll take that, we'll take that, we'll take that, we'll take that. That wasn't spectacular, but it was useful. And we, we don't mind those. Oh, target acquired. Target acquired. Oh shit, of course it's right next to it. That's the one. That's the one. But that's a problem. Oh, how, how are we going to do this right? Are you ready? Gotta make sure we get the right one. Okay. Okay. We're moving in. Where did it go? Shit, which one is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? Shit. Okay, just take a guess. Uh, left. Got it. Got it. Got it. Get home. Get home. You're coming with me. Yeah. Okay, this is fine. It's, this is fine. It's fine. It does do some damage. We need to get this in first time. We need to get this in the first time. Frodo, I'm very sorry about this. It's for the greater good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Drop! Is it in? No, no, no. Everyone, no, 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 no. No, no, guys, 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 Passive. Right. Away. 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 All of you. All of you. This way. <laughs> oh, sorry. Come on. All right, Thyla. How you doing? It has been a while trying to get one of you. Yeah. You're not so hard now, are you? Right between the eyes. <laughs> so... These, the comments say, uh, prefer cooked meat as opposed to, uh, it's the only animal, dino. Are dinosaurs animals or is dinosaurs a classification of animals? You know, like humans, animals, dinosaurs. Oh, it feels so professional with this shit. Hehehehe. <laughs> And she's down. So if I put my cooked meat in there. Taming, right. Oh I need uh need more I need more meat. I need more meat quickly. Fantastic. So that's a, right, we've got a level hundred here. And it has a 49 level increase. Very good, very nice. So we'll get a level 150. They are honestly, this base location is insane. Don't lie to me and say that that's not the most unique looking base you've ever seen here as well. Yeah. It's fantastic. Very happy with it. <coughs> we still need to um, put defenses up for it. I'm thinking we're going to have a defensive wall around the borough. And then further afield, we might have another defensive. It, depending on that, that's going to get really, really resource intensive. And if I'm being honest, I also don't want to ruin the view. I don't want to ruin the view of things. This is just a mess of meat right now. This place certainly was magnificent. Maybe the most beautiful place that we had stayed yet. There were all sorts of creatures about. Great if you wanted to tame them. Not so great if they attacked. Here you go. Monkey. When does hungry again? That was only 20%. I could trap it. Oh, I wonder if I could pick them up and then... Yeah, maybe that's a better idea. We'll wait and pick them up and then we put them in the trap. And then feed them. But I didn't have the fiber. It was fiber. Uh, Claude. Hey, what the fuck's going on here? What the fuck? I'll be having less of that, sir. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nope. For your bad behavior. Oh. He's stuck in the sky. Is my taming percentage gone down there? 
<gasps> because it's got nothing in it. Oh shit. I got too distracted. I got too distracted. The meat, the meat, the meat, the meat. That's why it's going down. Oh, it's going down fast as well. Shit. I'm sorry. It, don't don't reduce the effectiveness. There. Oh, it did go down a little bit. 48. It went it was like 59 or something, wasn't it? I'm just a bit forgetful though. Alright, but it's gone back up to 40. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. But yeah, you know what I mean. Right, we're good. Frodo, you okay? You've taken a battering. There's so much wildlife going on here. <laughs> Excuse me. And the gorilla forever will just be chilling there. Because he started something with Frodo. At least we know we can pick them up so we can get away with them. Um, although it would be interesting to see how you can tame one by. I, I don't know whether you'll be able to feed it the berries while it's in an aggressive state. And I'd imagine if I pick him up and kidnap him, he might be quite aggressive. It took a long time coming, this Thyla. It feels like a lifetime ago that we first encountered one. But good things come to those who wait. And eventually, it was finally tamed. Yes! Finally! Oh, after all this time, come on. We're just going to name it Taylor again. After all, we briefly had one of these for the shortest amount of time. You are terrifying. Then... Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ, there's a jump on that. Right, hold up. Before we test it fully, we put this back. Ready for the next victim. All right. How fast are you? That is the question. Oh, you look like a killer. Oh, my God. The size of your thumb? Finger? You've got five, so would that be a thumb? Let's Why am I naked? Everything died. All right, let's test it out. Ooh, fast. And a hell of a jump. Oh, it's got a little bit more height to it as well. Yeah, it's definitely got more of a... Than a, the saber's like a... It's like... Question, though. Can you climb the trees? Let's find a big tree. My God! <coughs> you can! Fuck me! Can I do the bouncing thing? <gasps> oh my God! And it doesn't even use that much stamina! <laughs> Come on! Get in! And then... Then I'll just be like, Fuck you! Oh! Tree to tree! Can you do tree to tree? Oh, we've got a new base. We're moved in. We have a Thyla. Not the highest of level, but a certainly acceptable level. There's a bear here. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. We used the trap and it worked. This, uh, this has been... This has been... A very good episode. Apart from the fact that Bertha's still out and it's been over an hour and a half now. But uh, for, for once, I feel like we truly won. Nothing... Touch wood. That's not wood. Wood. Truly nothing bad happened. I like that. That was good. I feel good about myself. I'm going to leave in a good mood now. Troops, thank you so much for watching. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate your time. Make sure to join the look, join the community Discord and if you want to hang out with us um, like when I'm not on the videos, even though we're not really hanging out anyway. Don't even think about it. Um, also, my Patreon. I'm uploading exclusive videos onto the Patreon if you want to go and have a look at that. But most importantly... <coughs> <laughs> Fuck. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.